हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी शार्प प्रोग्रामिंग वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स सीरीज फ्रॉम द पास्ट फ्यू वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड टोकन्स ऑफ सी शार्प लैंग्वेज वी अंडरस्टूड दैट स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज जनरली कॉल्ड एज अ टोकन स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज जनरली कॉल्ड एज अ टोकन आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी कैन वेरी इजिली रिमेंबर tokens available in c sharp language by remembering this shortcut c kicks os c for comments k for keywords and data types i for identifiers c for constants and variables s for strings and characters o for operators and s for separators in the previous video tutorials we understood comments keywords and data types identifiers constants and variables strings and characters from this video tutorial onwards for the next few video tutorials i would like to discuss operators in c sharp language before we proceed and understand operators in c sharp language first we need to understand what is an expression expression is a valid combination of operators and operands on evaluation it yields a result for example 2 plus 2 is an expression where plus is the operator 2 and 2 are operands on evaluating this expression we get the result 4 10 minus 2 is an expression where minus is the operator 10 and 2 are operands on evaluating this expression we get the result 8 remember that expression is a valid combination of operators and operands on evaluation it yields a result what is an operator operator is a symbol which performs an operation on the given operand or operands here plus is the addition operator it performs addition operations on the given operands 2 and 2 gives the result 4 here minus is the subtraction operator it performs subtraction operation on the given operands 10 and 2 gives the result 8 remember that operator is a symbol which performs an operation on the given operand or operands what is an operand operand is a value on which an operator performs an operation operand is a value on which an operator performs an operation i hope you guys have clearly understood what is an expression what is an operator and what is an operand operators in any programming language are broadly categorized into unary operators binary operators and ternary operators unary means one unary operators accept only one operand by means two binary operators accept two operands ternary means three ternary operators accept three operands unary operators accept only one operand binary operators accept two operands and ternary operators accept three operands Let's understand different types of operators available in C# -sharp language. C# -sharp provides rich set of operators to perform arithmetic operations, logical operations, comparison operations, etc., etc. We can very easily remember all types of operators available in C# -sharp language by remembering this shortcut Lara Bix. L for logical operators, A for arithmetic operators. R for relational operators, A for assignment operators, B for bitwise operators, I for increment and decrement operators, C for conditional operator, and S for special operators. Lara, Bix, L for logical operators, A for arithmetic operators, R for relational operators, A for assignment operators, B for bitwise operators. i for increment and decrement operators c for conditional operator and s for special operators that's it guys for this video tutorial i hope you guys have clearly understood what is an operator and different types of operators available in c sharp language in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to understand which operator is the unary operator which operator is the binary operator which operator is the ternary operator we understand when do we use which operator and how do we use operators to solve different problems etc etc guys 
I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly, try to remember all types of operators available in C sharp language. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.